Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Delivery Boy app. In the previous video, we showed you how this Flutter based app provides the functionality to build a bridge between the admin and the delivery boy. Through the delivery boy app, the admin can manage the orders and assign them to the respective boys, and the delivery boys can uh, further process the orders by delivering it to the customer's doorstep. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of the Delivery Boy app at the web end and I'll be showing you the web end settings for the same and the workflow for the customer and how the admin would be able to assign the uh, what we see as a Delivery Boys to the particular orders, how the admin would be able to create the Delivery Boys and much more. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now uh, I'm at the storefront as you can see. So as a customer, let's place one order. So I'll just go to the order history here and I'll be placing one order. So first of all, I'll be showing you the workflow of how the uh, customer can place the order and then how the admin would be able to assign the uh, delivery boy to the particular order. Now can you note that uh, the assignment of the delivery boy to the orders is uh, automatic as well as manual. So right now I'll be showing you the manual one and uh, the automatic functionality as well. So here I'll just reorder this particular order that we had already placed and uh, I'll be making a checkout thereafter. So here I'll be selecting my billing details, my delivery details. I'll be choosing the uh, shipping method and I'll be choosing the payment mode here, tapping on the continue button and then on the confirm order button to confirm the particular order. After as soon as the order has been confirmed, we will be able to see the uh, order details. So I'll go to the history here. So here's the order number 1462 pending state and let's view the order here so right now you can see that uh, here we have the product details but we don't have any delivery uh, delivery guide details here or the OTP that is to be provided to the delivery guy at the time of uh, uh, delivery of the order at your doorstep basically also get the OTP on your email address uh, or the your or your registered email address as well uh, nevertheless let me take you to the admin backend panel and now after the successful installation of the uh, open card delivery boy system there you'll have the mobile delivery boy option in the admin backend wherein you'll be having configuration shipping configuration delivery boy orders and mail templates so first of all let go let's go to the orders so here's the order number 1462 that was just placed by the customer on the web end and you can see that uh, the delivery boy has not been yet assigned to the order there so i can give the order particular order from here and uh, here if I scroll down in the order, here are the order uh, contents, the products that was purchased by the customer there. And here we have the order assignment. Now the order assignment here you can see that we have the order complete there for delivery boy. So from here you just need to choose the delivery boy. So let me select the delivery boy here. And then you can tap here on the assign order button. Now this will directly assign the order to the delivery guy. Otherwise, if you want to uh, want that uh, the delivery boy should accept this order, then you have to check this particular option and this would bring uh, the notice to the delivery boy to accept or reject the order there and then he'll be able to accept. Otherwise, to directly make him accept the order, you have to just select the delivery boy and tap here on the assign order button. So let me assign this up uh, to the uh, delivery boy that's the John Doe so you can see that the order has been assigned to the delivery boy now in the case if I have checked this option then let me show you what the status uh, would be displayed under the orders so this one is being directly assigned to the delivery boy but for this we have selected that option that uh, the delivery guy should accept the order so that's why it's showing waiting for order accept uh, and uh, other statuses can also be seen here like not assigned to the delivery boy so because this order has not yet been assigned to any delivery guy there so this is how the admin would be able to assign uh, the delivery guys uh, manually and now let me show you the automatic thing for that you have to go to the configuration settings here under the movie cool configuration and under the general tab here you have to scroll down to the order assignment type so here you can select the assignment type as automatic or manual 
if it has been set as manual then you have to manually assign the delivery boy to the particular orders otherwise you can choose it as automatic so if you have selected automatic and the order is placed by the customer then the delivery boy would be assigned automatically as per the default address and the delivery boy location there so here you have to if you have chosen the order assignment type as automatic then you have to set the default address as well so here you have to enter your store location which will be used to assign nearest delivery boy automatic by calculating the distance between this address and all active delivery boys there all right so after selecting this as automatic if i save this up and i try and re uh, order this order let's reorder this uh, another order here and i'll select these uh, options here and uh, i'll be selecting my payment method i'll tap continue i'll tap confirm order button now the order has been placed let's check the history so the order number is 1463 and in the previous order that we had placed 1462 if i check now because the delivery guy has been assigned so here you'll find the delivery boy details and the otp code for the same uh, that needs to be provided to the delivery guy at the time of order delivery there so let's go back and let's go to the latest order here and let's wave the order now let's go back and let's uh, go to the order section so here you can see that for the order number 1463 it has been order assigned uh, to the delivery boy here to smith doe and the order total is this and the details are here uh, so that's how the auto assignment works the uh, particular delivery guy is automatically assigned to the respective order as per the requirements there so that was the workflow of how the customers can place the order and how the admin can assign the uh, delivery guys in an automatic mode or in the manual mode uh, to the orders that have been placed to the website there now let me take you to the other options here that we have then let's go to the delivery boy option so here the admin will find the complete list of delivery boys that have uh, registered themselves and from here if the approval has been set as automatic then the delivery boys would be automatically approved because the delivery boys can register themselves through the application itself and uh, if the if the auto approval has been set to manual then in that case when they are registering from the mobile application then the admin needs to approve them using the approve button the admin can also approve all of them by tapping here on the approve button to mass approve all of the uh, the delivery boys there apart from that the admin can also add a new delivery guy by tapping here on the add new button and then he needs to enter the details of the delivery guy that include the image the name telephone number his email address the password his vehicle number his uh, uh, street address uh, the status has to be set as enabled his uh, vehicle type as bike cycle or car and then he has to tap here on the save button thereafter apart from that for the already added uh, uh, delivery boys the admin can edit any of the delivery boys by tapping on the edit button and can find the details of the uh, delivery guys and can make the changes as well as per the requirement there so this was about the order section all of the orders are being listed here and from here the admin can assign the orders to the delivery guys under the, the delivery boy will be able to approve add and delete any of the uh, what we see as the delivery guys as per the requirement there then we have the mail template coming to the mail template here here you will be able to create the different mail templates that will be used to send the mails at the various times there for example we have the registration mail stands for approval to the delivery boy delivery boy registration mail to admin registration mail template to delivery boy forgot password order delivery order accept order uh, otp so on and so forth so from here you can tap on the add button to add a particular email there send the name subject and from the template here we have provided uh, some keywords for the dynamic values there and these uh, uh, keywords can be used within the mail template for the dynamic data to be fetched automatically now coming to the configuration here 
under the configuration settings what you need to do is uh, here you need to set up the status for the particular thing as enabled or disabled set up the api key to authenticate the api set up the api password to authenticate the api set the fcm key or the you have to enter the google cloud messaging key for the push notifications uh, that will be sent out then you have the order assignment type that we have already seen automatic or manual in the case of manual you have to choose the shipping methods uh, all right and only allowed shipping methods will be used for this particular extension then we have the complete order status so from here you have to choose the status which you want to use for the complete orders then you have the delivery boy register approval required or not so if the approval is required for the delivery boys when they register then you have to choose this as enabled otherwise choose it as disabled to automatically approve the delivery boys there then we have the otp verify status so this is the status for the otp verification when the delivery boy will deliver the order so you can set it as enabled or disabled as per the requirement there and then we have the mail settings here you have to set up the different options that you can see here so for each of the otp mail status you have to enable it uh, as enabled otp mail template you have to choose the otp mail template then similarly you have to select the order accept mail status order accept mail template order delivery mail status has to be enabled order delivery mail template has to be selected forgot password mail template has to be selected registration mail status for approval to delivery boy has to be enabled so on and so forth these have to be selected here within this particular section now coming to the shipping configuration settings under the shipping configuration you have to set up the google key here and accordingly you have to set up the default address or, or you have to set any default address uh, for the shipping there and then you have to set up the range and the range should be in kilometers and the customer can display shipping within this range with respect to the default address there then you can set up the cost of the shipping if you want to apply some text classes you can apply the text classes set the status for the shipping as enabled or disabled and set this uh, sort order for the same thereafter you just need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings so yes that was much about the configuration settings uh, or the delivery boy app web end settings that needs to be configured there and uh, we just went through the different configurations like configuration shipping configuration delivery boy orders and the mail template so yes that was much about the same and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at spot at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.ubdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead